Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I've got the Magpie Beauty Pastel Collection to show you. It has seven colours and they are stunning. So what I'm going to do is swatch all of the new colours and then compare them to the rest of the Magpie Gel colours in their whole entire collection. So these are the seven colours all swatched and we're going to go through them individually. So as I said, there are seven in the collection and one of them is a shimmery glitzy colour. The rest are are all cream finishes so I just quickly want to show you what I have on my nails because it's stunning so I've got Lime Ada which is the gel colour from the pop art collection and also magpie jasmine glitter so let's start off with Life of Riley this is a gorgeous mid-toned blue kind of periwinkle type blue and this is the first coat and as you can see with pretty much all of these seven gels they are opaque within one coat but I do go in with two coats for the purpose of this video and I always like to do two coats of every colour I have. So that is Life of Riley. Next up we have Busy Bee and this is a beautiful pale lemony yellow colour. Now this one is the one in the collection that is slightly on the sheerer side but as you can see here it is still super pigmented and two coats gives it full coverage. If you want the colour to pop even more just go in with plain Jane which is the white from Magpie so that it really intensifies that lemon yellow colour. Next up we have Genie in a Bottle which is a baby blue with teal undertones to it. This is the first coat going on now. Again super full coverage and super opaque. All of these gels from this range and all of Magpie gels are really smooth and creamy to apply. With Magpie gels you do need to apply them slightly thicker than you would a normal gel because they are so highly pigmented and slightly thicker formula. So next up we have Mayday. Mayday is a beautiful nudey corally undertone colour. It is a stunning colour for summer but also carry through into autumn winter. It would work all year round and again it is full coverage in two coats. This is a beautiful colour, one of my favourites from the collection. Next colour up is Leap of Faith and this is a pale pink lilac colour. I think depending on what you pair it with depends on what colour it shows more of but it's definitely verging on the lilac side more than the pink so if you were to pair it with more of a pink glitter I think it would show more pink and if you were to pair it with a purpley colour it would show more purple so a really versatile pastel colour. Next up we have Osandi as the name suggests, it is a sandy nude. It has a really nice undertone to it. Nothing like any of the other colours that Magpie have in their collection. It is stunning and it is full coverage in just one coat, which is amazing. Lastly, but certainly not least, we've got Oopsie Daisy. And this is a gorgeous shimmery white. And if you have the Dust Daisy from Magpie Beauty, you will notice that they are almost identical. This is almost the gel formula version of the Daisy Dust. And this is such a beautiful colour. So yeah, another one of my faves. So there you have it, there are all of the seven swatches of the new pastel collections from Magpie. I will leave all links in the description box down below as to where you can get these gels from. And now we are going to move on and do all the comparisons for all of these seven gels to the rest of the Magpie collection. So let's begin to do that. So first up we've got Mayday and I'm comparing Mayday to first of all on the right we've got Sweet Coraline. Then we've got Days of Dawn in the middle and then Peaches and Cream on the left. So the next colour up we have Leap of Faith and we are comparing it to three colours. So the first is Denim Jean on the right, then we have Cotton Candy in the middle and Pearls a Singer on the left. The next colour up we're going to compare is Genie in a Bottle and on the right we're comparing to Dolly Daydream and then on the left we're comparing to Breakfast at Tiffany's. The next colour we're comparing is Oopsie Daisy and there wasn't really a colour that specifically matched this so I compare it to more of a finish. So on the right we've got Queen Vic, in the middle we've got You're a Gem and then on the left you have Plain Jane which is the white. 
Next up, we have got Life of Riley, and we are comparing it to Denim Jean on the right, Dolly Daydream in the middle, and Jazzy Joe on the left. The next colour comparison will be Busy B, and we are comparing it to on the right, Lime Ada, and then on the left is Hannah Banana. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have got O Sandy for comparison. On the far right, we've got April Showers, in the middle is Woe Nelly, and then on the left is Fanny Annie. And that's all of the comparisons. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped you in finding the perfect colour for you. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more swatches and comparisons. And head on over to my Instagram at Isabel May Nails to see all these new colours in action. All product information and links will be in the description box down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!